In this English lesson, I wanted to help you learn the English phrase like clockwork. If you say that something is going like clockwork, it means that it is going really well, it is going, uh, it's very organized, everything is happening in a timely fashion. If you say that me and Joe are working on building a new house and everything is going like clockwork, it means that the wood is arriving on time, you are getting a lot of work done every day, you are getting the house built in a timely fashion. You could say everything is going like clockwork. I hope that as you study English, everything is going like clockwork. I hope that you find time each day uh, to study a little bit of English. I hope you find some time every week to practice your English with a native English speaker, maybe on uh, Skype or on Zoom or something like that. But I certainly hope that your English studies are going like clockwork. I hope they're going well. I hope everything is working well for you and going in a timely fashion. So hopefully everything is going like clockwork. Um, and then here's another phrase with the word clock in it, to turn back the clock. Many of us wish we could turn back the clock. Um, what that means is that when you think about your life, you might think, um, or you might say, oh, I wish I could turn back the clock. I wish I could go back to my 20s and I wish I could study harder. Uh, I wish I had studied harder when I was that age. I wish I could turn back the clock, go back to that time in my life, and then study harder at university. Uh, maybe you want to turn back the clock uh, because there is a relationship in your past where you know that you could have done things a little bit differently. So sometimes we say that we would like to turn back the clock, meaning that we would like to go back in time and maybe live things or live our life just a little bit differently. So once again, when something is going like clockwork, it means it's going well, everything is organized, well run, and everything is happening in a timely fashion. And sometimes you will say that you want to turn back the clock, meaning that you would like to go back in time and maybe do something a little bit differently. Um, but let's look at our comment for today. Uh, the comment from today is from Natalia. Uh, Natalia says, in this day and age, using mobile phones is more common than watching TV. So this is a comment on the lesson from the other day about the phrase in this day and age, which means now. Um, I think yesterday's video, I looked at a comment from the same video, but that's okay. Um, I like comments. Um, so Natalia again says, in this day and age, using mobile phones is more common than watching TV. And then I responded and said, absolutely, most of my students at school prefer to watch things on their phones rather than on uh, TV. So yeah, the television has kind of become something that not a lot of people use anymore. I mean, um, we do have a television, but I would say that in my house, most of my kids, if they watch something by themselves, they will probably choose to watch it on their phone. Um, if they watch things together though, they will still watch it on our large TV that we have in our back room. Um, so anyways, it's Friday today. I hope that you're having a good Friday. Uh, I hope that you have exciting plans for the weekend. By the way, this is the part of the video where I start to speak my normal speed. I'll tell you this much, I don't have any plans for the weekend. My plan for the weekend is to just relax. Uh, of course, I'm definitely doing a live stream uh, Saturday morning at 11 a.m. on my other channel, but um, because of COVID, there's a lot of things we just can't do right now and it's kind of sad. I really want to make a video in Niagara Falls. I want to make an English lesson where I called Let's Learn English in Niagara Falls and I just can't get to it. We are in phase three right now, so things are a little more open than they used to be. Um, but I still don't feel like going to a big tourist town right now and uh, making a video for you guys. So. I promised I would make a video in Niagara Falls sometime this summer. I don't know when that will happen, but hopefully it happens soon. So anyways, I hope you're having a great Friday. I hope you have a good Friday evening. Um, I hope that you go out if you're allowed to go out. And if you are stuck in, I hope you have fun with your friends and family. Or if you're just by yourself, you have a great book to read or something to watch. Bob the Canadian here. Have a great weekend. I'll see you with a new video Monday morning.